Let's turn down the South Telangana Congress is in big trouble. Out of the 18 MLAs the party has, 12 have written to the Assembly Speaker and they've said that they want to join the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, the ruling party, TRS. The Speaker has apparently given his consent for the merger. Now here's the thing. Under the anti-defection law of India, you need two-thirds majority to defect and not be disqualified. This group, 12 out of 18, meets that requirement, that two-third cutoff. It is being led by a man called G.B. Ramana Reddy. He's a Congress MLA. In fact, it's been raining woes for Telangana Congress. First, their numbers dropped from 19 to 18. One sitting MLA won the Lok Sabha election from Nalgonda, so he's out of the state picture. The strength of the Telangana Assembly is 119 MLAs. The breakaway Congress faction says it wants to work with the TRS government to help in the development of the state very well. So the Congress party in Telangana is reduced to six, a strength of six MLAs. They will lose the, st the status of the main opposition party in the Assembly to OAC's AIMIM. We're talking about Asaduddin OAC. His party, AIMIM, has seven members in the Telangana Assembly, so they'll become the main opposition party. The Congress will have only six. The TRS is 88 members. The BJP has one. The Congress party is in complete disarray, in fact, and the effect is trickling down to its state units. Rahul Gandhi maintains that he has resigned from the port post of party president, but he hasn't, in fact, relinquished the post. The Working Committee of the Congress has, quote-unquote, rejected that offer. The stalemate, or the state of confusion more like, continues in the Congress party. Now, a very relevant story for the economy and the people of India. The onset of monsoon has been delayed by two days in Kerala. Monsoon rains were set to hit the state today, but the Indian Med Department says the southern coast will get rains only by the 8th of June, sometime this weekend. In Delhi, the monsoon is likely to be delayed by two to three days as well. On the plus side, though, it is expected to be a normal monsoon. Normal rainfall is expected. Private forecaster SkyMed, though, is more hawkish. It is projecting a week's delay. Most parts of India are suffering intense heat, soaring temperatures without rains. The monsoon follows a pattern, though. It arrives in Kerala first, then that is around the beginning of June, and it retreats from Rajasthan by the end of September. A small onset delay has a domino effect in the rest of the country. It also impacts the economy. And that's something that we must dwell on. Yes, agriculture remains a major contributor to the Indian economy. So a weak monsoon or a delayed monsoon is likely to hurt the economy. But the share of agriculture in gross value added, GVA, has been steadily falling. And that is good news. During India's first five-year plan, the share of agriculture in the economy in GVA, gross value added, was 55%. That's how significant agricultural income was. Today, it is 17.5%. In simpler terms, agricultural fluctuations will not hurt the economy as much as they used to. On a larger point, India's economy is increasingly less dependent on monsoons with every passing year. We don't have to look to the sky gods. But there are issues. Though the contribution of agriculture to the economy has fallen, the sector still employs almost half the total workforce in India, and that too needs to go down. And despite all the technical emphasis, more than 60% of India's farms still depend on monsoon rains for irrigation. And that dependence must also go down. If monsoons fail, the net farm incomes fall. And that sets off a chain reaction. It hurts the workforce, it reduces rural demand, it bleeds the entire sector. But that is just a historic reading. Several measures are in place now to protect the farming community from the volatility of monsoon rains. Farm productivity in India has been on a rise. In simple words, the approach to produce more crop per drop, more crop per drop, has boosted income. Two, the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana, it is a crop insurance scheme, has covered more farmers than previous schemes. Here, the farm income claims are sent directly to the end beneficiary. It covers natural disasters as well. Plus, I must repeat, this year we expect a normal monsoon just slightly delayed. So hang in there. We're wrapping up this edition of India Watch. The news continues on Beyond World is One. Thanks very much for watching.